and it sounds like they are correlated when that gets low and then it goes down. Yeah. So I couldn't see this when we were here because the uh, the pump was running. Well, it was cracked. It, I mean, it, it, it looks like it, but I'm not 100% sold that it is a crack, but it looks enough like it that I'm going to tell you there's a ground on it. The ground isn't connected. And it leaks a little bit around this seal a little bit. Just I saw a little bit of you. Oh, wow. A little bit, a little bit there. Uh, the light works. Yeah, I saw that. Yep. It's on a GFCI. Sounds so strange. It's like clogged. Like something's clogged. You can't get the, can't the pressure. Right here, the backflow for the pool that separates the pool water from the, from the house water. So if there's ever any kind of negative pressure in the house, it's not going to suck the pool water in the house. Yeah, that's just some. Just takes the full paint bottle though, just FYI. That looks like they, they, they replace tiles, it looks like. So There's like 11 of them up there, I counted them. Between both sides, like 11 of them. It's probably where they, there's a broken tile and they changed them out. Okay, so that's good. Yeah. Okay. And here's the condensation line for air conditioning. You see that water was leaking water like it's broken. And that is supposed that to is leak. supposed to leak water on the bottom. The top is not. The top is never supposed to leak, just yeah. the bottom. Yeah. And then over there, on the other side, is there a sprinkler system in there? Yes, there is. Okay. Want me to turn this on real quick? Yeah. Okay. That's a lot of sprinklers. So it's about 17 years old. And how much life is that? 15 to 20 years. Still? No, no, not left. It's total, 15 to 20. So it's so kind of. It's, it's ready. It's, it's technically beyond its last life. Um, the thing that the thing that you need to know though is that at the end of this year they are stopped selling for the Freon. And these older units you won't you can still buy the Freon, but you only all you can buy is what's left on the shelves or what's being recycled. So the, so they'll still be Freon for the next couple years, but the price is gonna keep going up on it as, as Way it gets, up. as it gets as it gets further away from the state. Going to get more higher and higher prices. It's not very much, but it's just it's just barely a little bit. On that seal, just a little bit. Got a little dirt up against the uh, pink yellow rocks right here. Did the termite guy come by? Uh, yes. Anything that did he spot? Anything did he say? He said he didn't see anything. He said, but it's all been freshly painted. Um, he said that he looked it up and it was just treated probably in June. It had a termite in treatment? Yeah. He did, I remember I thought he said it was this June. It wasn't very long ago that it was. Temperature relief valve on your water heater, which the valve, and I'll show you when you get in there, what that valve does is if it gets too hot, it releases the water, it releases the pressure, it water out of it, it releases the pressure, and it comes out here. So you don't want to see water coming out of there. Okay. Yeah, because we got uh, This all looks good here. All looks good. The only thing that I'd say is that one of the, one of the knockouts is popped out down here. And what they did, they got they got this cable for this. It's a sensing cord that they cut the end off and they put it in here. So this should this should be kind of some kind of a open clamp on it or something like that. Is that something we could ask for? You could. It's it's very minor in my opinion, but you could ask for it. No, you can't do much with that. Your sewer system. And this cap is kind of loose. It's kind of coming off right there. Looks like there's a little pressure on it. That maybe it made it pop out. That's kind of popping out a little bit. Is that something, a plumbing issue? That's something you would ask for? Is that kind of... Could it be expensive to try to put a new cap piece on that end there? Probably not. Um, it doesn't thread back in there. I, I, I'm not going to, I didn't want to pull it off because I'm afraid of, if I might make it worse. Yeah, then it's yours. Yeah, yeah, then you own it. I get it. The very, the very end. Under the, um... Under the eaves. Is that under, why they cocked it? Under, under the eaves, I do think. Right here. What? Right here under the, where the beams hit. It's, it's underneath on, on the flat side. Oh, on, on the, the flat, flat surface. Side. On the flat surface. Is that dry rot or is that going to be picked up on a termite, do you think? 
as a living organism? It's not, I wouldn't say it's quite dry rot yet. Um, is it mold or mildew or something? Would you call that? I don't know if it's that to the extent. So, so this, if, this if, if they didn't do anything with this, then you'll need to have a, have a roofer come out and look the underlying right here. This is a very common place for this to happen. Sometimes it can be water coming back because you've got water coming through the flashing right here. And you got water, because if you look back here, you've got water coming from this side and from over there, hitting against the side and coming around the corner right there. So you got a little more water than normal coming through there. That's, so it's kind of, that's a very common place to have I'll look at the receipts first. Okay. And if it's not, maybe I'll go for the mount. The water leak in the house, this is where you want to run to set the water off. Yeah. Where is it at? Right here, this red handle. Okay. You turn it like that. And everything goes off. It's all shut off. And what, what they've done here is, this is a little back flow for your irrigation system. It's a little corroded, but it's dry, so it's, it's, it's not leaking yet right now. But this will shut the system off. But what they did is they, you, you have a loop in there for water softener that somebody added. And that's what they cut it here, and they ran this here and into the attic and then down by the water. And I'll show you that in there. And then, so this is, comes out here. So this right here is going to be, if you ever put a water softener in, this would be regular water, this would be soft water. Okay. If you decide to put one in. Right okay. now, it's all the same. All right. Because they just got a loop, that's all. Good to know. I think the one time we had a water softener there. Oh, or not a water softener, but a RO system. Oh, a RO, reverse osmosis. Oh, that's what it was. Because if you look underneath here. Yeah, yeah. Look underneath here. There's a tube right lines. there. So they have a plumb now to where it's, it's, there's water. It's, it's shut off right there, so water's not blowing over there. Mm -hmm. But it could, if you turn that blue little valve there. I'm not turning that. No, don't turn that. <laughs> But now this is just regular water. Before yeah. they had this as an RO. Yeah. When people put in the revert the osmosis system. When they put in the water softener, they put in an RO because of the, the, the water softener water usually takes from that and it's salty and stuff. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So that's what it is. No water leaks underneath there at all. They've actually that's a good thing. It looks like they actually painted it down there. <laughs> that's a not a thing. So <laughs> they just trying to make things look nice. And I, don't see, and I don't see where it's caved in or anything. Right. The only thing that might be hiding is like where little things are spilled. Yeah. Um, the dishwasher looks good except the racks are rusty. And you know I'm going to get a dishwasher. Oh my goodness, yeah, totally. Yeah. <laughs> that's <laughs> right, that's right to the metal. Yeah, you know that's good because you can pick your own. Yes, I don't you know. Asked it? Yeah, so microwave works. No electrical issues. No. Uh, GFCI all works. You've got this GFCI for over here, this GFCI works on these over here. Um, overall. What, that, what is that thing that's not allowed? It's going to some kind of alarm system somewhere. This is just a transformer for alarm system. That's how you run power to it. If they were going to go with another alarm system, they wouldn't use that anyways, would they? No. They'd, they'd just so cut most, it off. Most of you go, ne go today, they go wireless now. Why? Cabinets really, for the age, it's not doing too bad. You know, there's. Not perfect, but that was anything really to say much about. They're just they're cabinets. cabinets. They have, you know, like painted underneath this thing, they painted walls that kind of, if there was any kind of stain, you can't see it. One thing that they painted that I've never seen them before, which is not saying it's a bad thing, is the drip pan underneath the air conditioning in the attic, they actually painted that. So there was probably a little rustiness at one time, there was probably a little leak in there. Today, it's, today there's no water, the water's all going outside. Like it's supposed to. Like it's supposed to. <laughs> uh, doors self closed like it's supposed to. Now the attic, they originally had the blown in cellulose. And they've got them blown in a couple of three, four, or five inches of this uh, white fiberglass on top of it. So somebody's added to it. So that's a good thing. Yeah, that's good. So it's probably like nine to 12 inches up there. Of stuff, so it's keep the air from and that stuff's good to use too, right? Yeah. This the thing with fiberglass, it doesn't settle like the cellulose does. It's oh, it's it keeps it shape, it keeps it shape better, yeah. Wow, okay, good enough. Yeah, see, here's your loop right here. This is a little bit of water softening, just this work a little bit. Um, you got a little corrosion on that valve there, not much separate normal. This is temperature of these valves right here. Um, that's just that's paint, yeah. It's just that little bit right there. How old do you think that was? 
This water heater, I believe, is 2012. Is that anything to be alarmed about over here? Or no? Pardon? Is that anything to be alarmed about? No, it's not leaking now. They all do it because they use such cheap metal on that. Oh, yeah. They all of them. Uh, yeah. They, they don't, they don't, the quality of that brass is not like it was 30 years ago. Okay. Um, they don't have a drip pan on here. That's what they recommend these days, put the drip pan on it, but I don't see any damage on here. Um, they're supposed to have three screws on each connection. They've taped it so it's staying, but it doesn't have three screws on it. It's not going anywhere, but it yeah. still got three screws on it. Are you understanding? Thank you very much, sir. <laughs> I usually, that's not part of my day. You don't have to go check the remote. I'm really bad, so you're here. Thank you. Thank you very much. This is going to go catch it. It did all that. It's nice and solid. Yeah. Yes. Friendly call. Yeah, here. Good question. Clean. Oh, no, that's okay. There's a little bit. Of a leak. I believe a leak on the very top of what it, this down here is, is just dust. Oh, okay. It's wet right now when you hand with it? No, it's no. not. I believe in this one, I have to look. I think this one leaked a little bit. Or what's the other one? I have to look. Well, this right here, see that really that kind of. Well, we're going to change the faucets. Yeah, this leaks a little bit down there when you, when you move it. Yeah. But if you change a faucet out, it should should remedy that. Uh, this is this I is loose. That. Oh, oh wow. Julio, Julio. There's a the I stopper open. is damaged, and this right here. You don't stand the shower to get shower. You got stand on the toilet. What? Leak right there. Oh my goodness. Did you get that one? Yeah, can you make it leak one more time, please? <laughs> <laughs> All over the mirror, you get. All over the toilet. Yeah, that was an issue. There's still a puddle there. Yeah, there sure is. There's still a puddle down there. Oh, yeah? No doubt about it? Just All right, this was a fancy here. Leaked a little bit around here when you kind of threw it yeah. around. This toilet is actually pretty good. It's solid. So it's solid. The other yeah. one was all wobbly. Yeah. Did you see that on the other one? The tub, tub looks good. The stopper that works good. The, the other toilet good. was, was it unsafely? Oh, that's right. Yeah, if you sat on it, it does move, doesn't it? It does move. Mm -hmm. Some of those things will move if you sit on it. won't, won't move unless you kind of wiggle on it. Wiggle on it. You don't need that problem. Anytime they're loose, it's going to wear the seal out more. And, and what's that from the ceiling? Is that just a, just a hanging thing? Some kind of hanging like a, a pot or something. Oh, okay. A plant. A plant above your... Back up. Yeah, all right.